just a boy dreamed of falling in love with a girl like you. Through the years I thought I found you, but nothing would do. Now here we are. families. We just want to welcome and thank every single one of you for being here to take part in such an incredibly special moment in their lives. We have gathered here today to celebrate a commitment of love and a coming together of two separate lives. Marriage is not an arrangement of convenience simply devised by society. Instead, it's a relationship that was created by God. In fact, in the very beginning, God declared that it's not good that man would be alone. He said, I'll make him someone who is perfect for him. So with that truth in mind, we see that this decision is not one to be entered into lightly, but rather taken with great consideration. And these two both believe in the significance and the importance of this decision, which is why they've chosen to make it in front of every single one of you, their family, their friends, but also in the sight of God. John and Karen, you guys know that today is only the beginning. This wedding right here is not what's going to make your marriage. Your marriage will be made every single day, long after this ceremony is all done and complete. Because the actual act of becoming one is a process 
that will take each of you a lifetime. And no matter how close the two of you are together right here, right now, neither of you should allow a moment to pass that you don't work on this union. So I challenge you today, before family, before friends, and before God, to continue to create opportunities for conversation, to make sure you can understand where the other is coming from, to make sure the other knows just how much you love them, and of course, be on your guard against anything that may try to break up this sacred relationship. John, do you take Karen to be your wedded wife, to live together in the holy estate of matrimony? Do you promise to love her, comfort her, honor and keep her, in sickness and in health and forsaking all others, keep yourself only for her, so as long as you both shall live? I do. And Karen, do you take John to be your wedded husband, to live together in the holy estate of matrimony? Do you promise to love him, comfort him, honor and keep him, in sickness and in health and forsaking all others, keep yourself only for him, so as long as you both shall live. I do. And repeat after me, this ring I give to you. This ring I give to you. As a sign of my love. As a sign of my love. My commitment. My commitment. And my faithfulness. And my faithfulness. Right. Karen. Karen, taking John's ring, place on his finger, holding it there, repeat after me, this ring I give to you. This ring I give to you. As a sign of my love. As a sign of my love. My commitment. My commitment. And my faithfulness. And my faithfulness. Well, by the power vested in me, by the state of Arizona and the higher authority of God's word, it is now my honor to pronounce you husband and wife. What God together, let no one pull apart. John, you may kiss your bride. Before they go, we want every single one of you to take a look at the sky because we got to get a photo of every single one of you here. Another 
drink, let's energize before we go again. Keep on going till the night's end. No one to stop us from dropping it high, plus they push me beyond. Sign till they're delivered. You feel my body shivered when they play that song. Don't make me wait too long. I wanna dance, 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 dance. Dance, 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 dance. I wanna dance. Close, we've been getting, please.